Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel and to the second planner flip through of my 2018 planners. So the first one should already be up on my channel and um, that will be for January through April. This one's going to be through May through August. May, June, July, August. Yeah, May, May through August. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out the first half of that video or first video, go check that out because it will be the first half of my year. This is going to be the like our first third of my year. This is going to be the second third of my year. Um, and I'm just going to talk you guys through all of my spreads, walk you through them and just kind of um, go over them and show you guys them and yeah especially because a lot of these were never fully finished spreads that you guys saw me plan out so um, it's nice to have you guys see them so anyway we're gonna flip through to April so I don't think I showed you guys nope I did April um, yeah we're going to go to May why is my phone going off okay so for May um, let me make sure that you guys stay in focus um, so this is the May monthly. Um, I don't really talk too much about the monthlies. There's a sticker on this. I don't talk too much about the monthlies just because like I honestly didn't really do much with the monthly monthlies, but that was just kind of my own personal preference. It's probably going to change. We will see. It might change, but um, yeah, so this was a kit from Scribble Prints Co. Um, I think most of, I think the rest of the year is all from Scribble Prints Co. But I really liked this kit and it was a lot. May was also busy. May is usually my busy month because it's a lot of birthday month or birthdays in May. So yeah, we'll get into it. So this is the first week that we have in May. Um, so this is the Pet Potty Kit from Glam Planner. And I originally was not planning on using this kit and I didn't even buy the kit until I was like, wait, I have an idea. So the reason why I used this kit for this week is because the second was Bailey's fourth birthday. Um, Bailey is my husky, if you guys don't know that. Um, she's literally my child. That was also my brother's birthday on this week also, but I mainly did like the pet like pet theme because of Bailey's birthday being on this week. Um, but I really like how this kit turned out. I really love this double box down here. It's really pretty. Um, so... Yeah, um, let's see. May 1st. Oh my gosh, okay. Live Like Cole became a thing. Um, so if you guys don't know, I don't, don't talk about it very often, but Cole is one of the, um, cast members that's at work that is in a different department, but, um, even though he's in a different department, our, like, departments are trying to, like, kind of interact with each other more and so seeing Cole around Cole's just generally like the most nicest guy you'll probably ever meet and he's so happy and positive and so we did this thing where we're like okay hashtag live like Cole so we have little leather strips that we can use and we put hashtag live like Cole on them and we gave one to him and then it's me um Danielle who's my best friend and then David who's another one of my friends um we all have one and then we gave one to Cole and it was just, it was an exciting thing because like he is literally the nicest person ever. He's always so positive and like he's always trying to like make sure everyone else stays positive and stuff like that. And so when we gave this to him, he was like, this is really cool because like obviously it's a hard thing to do to be positive all the time, but it's nice to know that like I'm having an effect on people. So yeah, hashtag live like Cole was born, which was exciting. I also apparently forgot my name tag that day, but yeah, hashtag live like Cole. Um, and then the... Wednesday, which was the second, um, it was Bailey's, like I said, fourth birthday. It's insane. She's going to be five this year. My baby's growing up. She's a dog, but you know, it's so sad. <laughs> um, so yeah, her birthday, my brother bought me gas apparently. Um, let's see. Thursday, there was a hole in my costume pants apparently. And then it was my brother's birthday. It's kind of crazy to think that my brother is 30 because that means I'm getting old. I mean, I'm 24, but I turned 25 this year, which is insane. I'm not ready. I'm not ready at all. <laughs> um, which I know some of you guys are probably like, oh, you're, you're, you're just turning 25. It's fine. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. I'm excited for this year to see what it brings. But anyway, brother's birthday. Um, the fourth, uh, or the Friday was the first night of grad nights. Grad nights were the death of me. I will be honest with you guys. And I told you guys this in a lot of my videos whenever I was marking grad nights. Grad nights were just a terrible time because it's literally like grad nights are, Working until 3 a.m. with a bunch of high school seniors where some of them are well behaved, I'll admit it. Other ones, though, not so much. And, you know, when you have to do a lot of med runs because they're ODing on a bunch of drugs, it's a, never a fun time. So, um, we had grad nights and grad nights for us was just very stressful and there's a lot that goes into it. But, yeah, first night of grad nights, grad nights was a fun time. Oy. Anyway, um, Saturday we had Cinco de Mayo, got some Krispy Kreme, I was reading 
started Goblet of Fire, never finished Goblet of Fire. I've read it multiple times before, but I never finished it this year. I stopped reading it. So yeah, moving on. Oh, this is my Mother's Day spread and this was a trip that I had to take so I ended up back planning this so you guys probably saw the whole thing but I'm gonna do a little uh like wiggle for this because my headers are holographic like shattered headers and they're just oh they're gorgeous so this is the baby cakes kit from uh Scribble Prince Co and I love 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 this kit and I love how it turned out so let's see anything interesting happening it was my dad's birthday on the 8th um and we had some birthday cake, but yeah, like I said, May is the month of birthdays for me <laughs> and my family went to in and out apparently, looked up some photography inspo, I was late for work, sounds about right. Um, packing for New Mexico, so we took a New Mexico and uh, Arizona trip. We went to New Mexico for my sister's graduation. Um, she obviously graduated from college and she was taking online classes, so she graduated from New Mexico. So we did a road trip there. So I was packing for New Mexico on this day. And then on the 11th, we had a forever long drive to New Mexico. Oh my God, it was no joke a forever long drive. It was like a 20 hour, 22 hour drive. It was ugh, torture. <laughs> I'm good with road trips, but like road trips across the country, not so much. Like if I survived the Texas trip, you would think I would be able to survive a New Mexico trip. But yeah, road trips are hard for us. I feel like as we get older, they get harder because I'm like, all right, I'm antsy. I need to go do something. So which is ironic because usually it's the little kids who are like that. I just can't sleep as much as I used to. I don't know. But yeah, forever long drive to New Mexico. Uh, we had in and out again. I had in and out apparently twice this week. Um, the Saturday was Lauren's graduation, who is my sister. Um, so we got all dressed up. I had Simply Gilded new releases. And then it was her graduation, which was exciting. And then Sunday was Mother's Day. So we drove to um, Old Town or we went to Old Town Albuquerque in New Mexico. We stopped there and then we went to um, Flagstaff. We had a little mini road trip to a Flagstaff. Um, and then we stayed in Flagstaff and went to the Grand Canyon and stuff like that. So yeah, that is the Mother's Day uh, week. Moving on, we have this one, which I don't remember what the name is. I want to say it's like good vibes or something like that. I could be totally wrong. Um, but this is a kit from Scribble Prince Co. And this is the second half of the trip. So we went to the Grand Canyon on this day and we went to Bedrock, um, which was exciting. And then we went to Sedona, which Sedona is just gorgeous. And the pictures that I took up there was great. I hiked up a rock, literally a rock. Like I had to climb a rock just to get photos and it was totally worth it. So we went to Sedona. So that was the kind of the end of the trip. We drove back on the Wednesday. We had a seven hour drive back home which wasn't too bad uh because we split it we drove half of it on mother's day and then we drove the rest of it on this day unpacked my suitcase edited some photos stuff like that had some laundry day i had a meeting apparently at two o'clock i don't remember this meeting or do i I don't know. We've been having a lot more meetings now than we used to. So we had a meeting. Um, Once Upon a Time series finale. Oh no, I still have yet to watch this. Okay. So if you guys don't know, I was obsessed with Once Upon a Time. It was my all time favorite show I ever watched. Like I was keeping up with it. I had a spread dedicated to it, like everything. And the series finale was on this week. And I got about a season and a half behind on it and I have still yet to watch it, which is really sad. I probably should do that before they take it off of Netflix. So I'm going to have to do that eventually. But yeah. And then we watched Black Panther, uh, Red Goblet of Fire, needed some coffee, submitted a trade. Yeah. Overall, not a bad week. Moving on. Oh, I love this spread. This is the Haruku, Haraku, something like that um, spread from Station Stickers. And it's all foiled. Like, look, look at that. Look at, look at it. Oh. It's so pretty. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So, I just love the yellow in this kit too because, like, yellow is not a color that I, like, usually go for, but, like, I needed the yellow <laughs> in this. Um, so let's see. Started 13 Reasons Why Season 2. Ugh, Season 2. Oy. 13 Reasons Why just in general is just a lot, but started 13 Reasons Why Season 2. I bought some exciting things. Read more of Goblet of Fire. Went to the post office. Had a pamper night. Um, had the Incredibles Disney Marathon, or I had, I watched the Incredibles and then had a Disney Marathon probably afterward. I received the best present from Danielle. I ripped my contact, which was a fun time. Oh, look, see, I tried to restart Once Upon a Time. Never finished it. I got through, like, season three or something like that of it and then stopped. Uh, PBC sale. 
oh, I got an iPad Pro. Oh, I love my iPad Pro. And I started working on like calligraphy and stuff like that. My writing's a little bit better than it used to be. It's still not amazing, but it's getting there. Um, and then we had a, a potluck at Guardians at work because it was the year anniversary of Guardians opening. Um, <laughs> we walked to Starbucks on lunch with Danielle. Okay, so there was one day where we, like Danielle and I went to lunch and we both clocked out and we're like well we're not really hungry like we both just really want coffee and so both of us were like do we want to just walk to starbucks and then come back because there's a starbucks on property for like cast members and both of us were like yeah yeah we're gonna do it we're gonna go get coffee so we literally on our lunch we had a 30 minute lunch walked to starbucks to get coffee and we made it like 20 minutes before they closed and i was like i'm happy now so yeah we walked to starbucks but that is this kit not much like too much happened but this is when we get into like more foiled stuff I used a lot of foil on this week so yeah moving on to June so June obviously is pride month hence the um monthly spread I actually really like this monthly spread um it's really really pretty but again I'm not gonna talk too much about these because obviously I'm gonna go into these spreads themselves but yeah we have the monthly spread uh, okay, this is my sister's birthday week. This is the only color blocking I did for the whole entire like planner. I used to do color blocking all the time, but this is the only one that I did it on. Um, this is the sprinkles kit, I believe, from uh, Scribble Prints Co. I also used a sticker from, uh, what's it called? Her 2017... 2016 one of her January mystery kits I used the sticker from that for that um but yeah this is the week of Lauren's birthday who is my sister so first thing it was Memorial Day on Monday I had a once upon a time binge helped cook dinner practiced a little bit of calligraphy because I got my iPad so I was just messing with that I got accepted to NAU which is Northern Arizona University so when I went to Grand Canyon we stayed in Flagstaff which is where NAU is at and I was a little inspired to be like okay maybe I need to go back to school and like work on stuff and do that and so I was looking into like new degrees and just everything in general and I applied and I got in but I never went so I had a little like problem with my um not application, but like the program that I was trying to get into, I needed an associate's degree before I can get into that program. And I don't have the associate's degree for it. So I have to get the associate's degree before I can actually get into the program. But I did get accepted, which was really exciting. So yeah. Um, and then Thursday or Thursday, sorry, Wednesday was Lauren's birthday, which was exciting. We had some birthday cake. Um, I really like this double box being separated. I think I did this with the lucky one too, where the rainbow was separated. I like it. Um, let's see anything interesting happened on Thursday. I made a pizza. That's about it. I had a once upon a time binge on this one. I watched Divergent and played video games with Brian, who's my brother. Um, yeah, I had a movie night. I just really liked how this one turned out because it's all color blocked. Like, even the character stickers I use, like, icons, everything, I try to make it as color blocked as possible. And this is the only spread that I did that on, and I really, really love it. Like, I think it's gorgeous, and I, oh, I'm obsessed with it. So, yeah, moving on. Um, we have, I don't remember what this one's called. I don't think it's Summer Vibes. It might be Summer Vibes. I don't know. This is a kit from Glam Planner. I know that. I know that it's from Glam Planner. Um, and I love the colors of this one. It's just really pretty. And I used some, um, what's it called? Glitter headers from Crest Press. These aren't even Glam Planner ones. Um, so this is also another trip that I took. I took a trip on um, June. And this is also when some other things happened, which I will get into. So first thing on Monday, we'll, we'll get into that side. <laughs> first thing on Monday, um, we had Wreck-It Ralph, or I watched Wreck-It Ralph. First time I ever watched it. Love it. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. I had a frustrating day at work. Sounds about right. It's grand night, 7 to 3.30. <laughs> grand nights are not fun. So grand nights, I, they were so frustrating that I had an emotional breakdown. That's how frustrating they were for me. Like at work, sitting in the break room, I was just sitting there crying. And I was like, I can't make it stop. It's literally just, it's here. And I can't make it stop so yeah we had an emotional breakdown on this day I did also pack for San Francisco or kind of San Francisco it was in the Bay Area and um let's see this day oh my car was officially paid off which is exciting I had to finish packing but the car is the main thing <laughs> that's the most exciting part of it um okay so the eighth we drove up to the Bay Area I wrote I said road trip to San Fran it wasn't actually to San Fran it was up in the Bay Area um so we went up there for my cousin's wedding but yeah went up there painted my nails did a face mask did some reading um Saturday was the day of the wedding so I remember the Simply Gilded new releases I was no joke leaving our hotel that we were in 
on my phone because I needed to get these Simply Gilded new releases and this was before she had enough stock to where it'll last a little bit. This was like, no, it's gonna sell out in a minute. So I was trying to get the new releases, no joke, when we were leaving the hotel and I was like, oh my god, this is ridiculous. But I did get them, so that was exciting. So we had Simply Gilded new releases and then Clara's Wedding, who is my cousin. Um, that was the whole reason why I was up in San Fran or up in the Bay Area. And then last night of grad nights, thank God, because oh my God. And funny enough, grad nights is what started the whole thing with the guy. <laughs> so if you guys, okay, if you guys have seen the end of 2018, some of the plan with me's, I talk about my mental health and it all started guys on this day this 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 day this day of the wedding it all started well kind of that was when it all like escalated um but it all started with me asking how was grad night and it escalated from there but yeah so I don't know how I feel about it but yeah that was the start of things so moving on to the Sunday um we checked out of the hotel drove back home had some late night texting I was up until about 3 a.m I was texting him literally all day all night yeah late night texting. That's the thing. Um, so yeah, that is this week. Moving on, um, we have this spread, which is from School of Prince Co. Why can't I not remember any of these, like, the names of these spreads? I am the worst. I physically can't remember what this is called. Nope, it's blank. I, I don't remember. Um, but let's see. Monday, I unpacked my suitcase. We also got some very personal information out of me on this day. <laughs> you guys don't need to know this, but, like, this is, this is literally, like, be going through like the friendship relationship whatever you want to call it this is the start of it so yeah Tuesday I went to the post office and I had a long talk with best friend at work who is also best friend that I'm talking with text messages and been talking to like till three in the morning that best friend so that was a thing um Wednesday we had a movie night I started watching friends again because I wanted to watch friends because that's just what I do. Um, apparently was very stressed out. I have no idea why I was stressed out, but I was stressed out. We're, we're pulling the hair out. <laughs> um, I had to make some pizza, had a grocery run, got some boba tea, more late night texting, not surprised. Um, and then it was Father's Day on this day on the Sunday, so... Yeah, yeah, this this is the pretty kid. I like the kid. I really don't know what else to say because, like, it's it's gonna start, like, it's gonna be good and then it's just gonna, it's gonna go downhill. <laughs> like, I'm not ready for it, but it's okay. Um, so, yeah, moving on. Oh, no. They just messaged me in a group chat. That means my phone's just gonna keep going off. Um, this spread, this is from, oh, my God, why can't I remember where these, like, things are from? This one isn't a Scrub Prince Co. Kit. I'm the worst. I promise I have planned with me's for all of these because I physically, like, I literally don't remember what this is called. Well, I know it's called Mermaid Kisses and Starfish Wishes, but I don't remember what the place is called that I bought it from. I'm the worst. Anyway, so, the Monday is, <laughs> God, Monday is, uh, the date. So, we went to see The Incredibles 2. I had a dinner with him late night texting. If you guys didn't know, yes, that is, I've talked about him before. I think I've talked about him at the beginning of this video. He is the one that was, yeah, yeah, we're not even going to get into it. Yeah, so we did that. We're going to skip over that. <laughs> we're going to move on. Um, uh, let's see, painted my nails, um, Disney movie night, had a pamper night. We had the first day of summer, got some Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, The Sims 4 Seasons. I remember being so excited for The Sims 4 Seasons because I was like, I need seasons in this game. Like, the one to two times I played in like three months, I need the seasons. Um, and then I had another forever long talk with the best friend. Um, frustrating day at work. Sounds about right. Wow, nothing happened on this day. I had a frustrating day at work, edited, and had a friend's binge. Okay, cleaned out the turtle tank and washed the costume. So, yeah, that is this week. I feel like I've been talking for days already, but it's okay. This video is going to be a little bit longer. Um, anyway, moving on to July. So, July is my birthday month. It's also our vacation month, so um, these spreads are a little uh, fun. Um, there's also going to be a couple spreads that don't get filled out, so I'm going to warn you guys now, or that didn't get filled out, so yeah. This is the last week in June. This is my pride spread. I literally try to make this spread as colorful as possible just because I really liked it, so um, let's see. 
anything interesting i watched coco for the first time um which is exciting i also did not cry and was told that i am a robot because i didn't cry during it i then went to go see jurassic world fallen kingdom with brian um who's my brother um which was a really good movie i was kind of surprised at how good it was i wasn't expecting it to be that good um and for me to like it that much <clears throat> um thursday we had another forever long talk after work because yep that was a thing no longer a thing but that was a thing i'm not bitter at all no i'm not at all <laughs> i don't know i don't know how to talk about this without like i can't just like ignore it obviously because it's in a lot of my days and so i can't just ignore it but yeah but I, I, it's also one of those things where I'm like, I need a market, just like how at the end of this, it's going to get into like, I'm not okay, I'm overwhelmed, anxiety, stuff like that. Like, I need to market and I like seeing like my reactions and like how I was feeling with some things. Um, so yeah, this was when everything was good. This was actually when things were like extra good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, got some coffee, had some in and outs, um, crazy night at work, called scheduling. I don't know why I called scheduling, but I had to call them. More late night texting, um... Yeah, so that was the spread. Really pretty. I love the rainbow in it. I try to make it, like I said, as colorful as possible. Moving on to 4th of July week. Uh, yeah, 4th of July week never fully got planned out because... Uh, <laughs> it was an interesting week, I will be honest. Um, I had to take my car to the mechanic. I'm assuming I probably had a flat tire or something like that. We went to Pizza Press, 4th of July... Um, this was my big day. I had a hair appointment at 9.30. I had to pack for Mammoth because I left for Mammoth the week after this. And then I had a party that I went to, um, which was a co-worker's party. And, uh, yeah, that was an interesting night. We're just gonna, we're gonna leave it at that. That was an interesting night. So, yeah, this is my 4th of July kit. I'm kind of really sad that I didn't actually, like, fully plan this spread out because it would have been really pretty. And, like, I could have used so much foil and stuff with it. I know that I didn't use the overlays because I wanted to use the overlays for something else, but... Kind of sad I didn't fully plan this spread out, but that's kind of how it goes. There's a couple other ones I think in here that uh, aren't fully filled out, if I'm being honest. So, yeah. Okay. Anyway, moving on. This is the first week of my vacation, which is exciting. Um, so, I go to Mammoth every year with my family um, for, for a week and a half. That was a weird noise that I made. For a week and a half. So, this is the... Uh, spread for that one. This is the, I want to say, Camp SPC kit from Scribble Prince Co. This one also was from Scribble Prince Co., by the way. I just obviously didn't use it um, or didn't fully plan it out. But yeah, so this is the first week of the vacation. So um, let's see. We drove to Mammoth on the Wednesday, went to Giovanni's, which is a, um Italian place that we always go to. And then we always drive around the lakes. And then we woke up early, went to do some fishing at Twin, went to Shots Bakery, um, did some grocery shopping because we had to get food for the whole entire week and a half. Friday, we went to June Lake. Um, we already finished a puzzle. We were there for like two days and finished a pu puzzle. Got a bunch of bug bites. Bug bites or bug bites. Mosquitoes love me, which is really annoying. And I'm allergic to calamine lotion, so I can't even use calamine lotion to fix it. So, yeah. Um, the 14th, we had a Harry Potter marathon. I remember this because I got my brother and my dad to both be, like, watch the marathon because neither of them had seen it. And I got my dad to not change the channel and it was great. So, we had that. Went to the bookie joint and, like, shopping day at the outlets and stuff like that. Um, had a crazy eight marathon with my dad, which is usually what we do. We get very competitive, I'll admit it. <laughs> we went to the Moto Lake Tufas, Lee Vining, uh, played Phase 10 with the fam, which my dad had never played. I got really, really sunburnt from the Tufas. Um, and yeah, finished another puzzle. So yeah, that was this first half of the week. This next one is my birthday week, which uh, I love this spread because of all the foil. I used literally so much foil on this like week because I knew for my birthday week I wanted to use that much foil and oh, it's gorgeous. So this is the uh, January Mystery Kit from 2018 for, um, from Scope of Prince Co. And it's just, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I'm obsessed with this kit. Um, so 16th we had my birthday dinner um so we did a little bit more shopping at the village went to slocum's which is a place obviously up at mammoth uh we also did go fishing like a lot during this whole entire time but i didn't mark fishing because we go fishing like every day um morning and night so we went to slocum's played cards against humanity oh my god okay never play cards against humanity with your dad because like my dad has that dry sense of humor and he's totally like he's kind of okay with it but also kind of wasn't, so it was just very entertaining to play Cards Against Humanity because that game is so bad. Um, but yeah, so we did that. Um, we went to Convict Lake and Rock Creek Lake on the Tuesday. Um, I bought Danielle's hat. 
Uh, the 18th was my birthday, so my 24th birthday. We went fishing in the morning. Apparently, I marked fishing on my birthday. Had some birthday cake. Um, so it was a really good day. My parents were like, "Hey, you get you get to do whatever you want. It's your day." That type of thing. So, oh my god. Okay, we are we are turning my phone on silent because I knew the group messages were gonna start. Um, so. Went fishing, went to Hot Creek Geological Site, which was a place that I had never been to. So if anyone's curious, also Mammoth is like an hour away from Yosemite. <clears throat> I don't think I really explained that, but yeah. Um, had some birthday cake and then about halfway, three-fourths of the way through the day, my brother called us because he was no longer with us. He went um, back home and we found out that Maya, who is um, my sister's, or who was my sister's dog, um she had passed away on my birthday. She was 12, I think she was 12 or 13, so she had passed away on this day. So it was kind of a bitter end to my birthday, but that was okay. It was still a good day. It was just the end of it was kind of a, a downer, but yeah. So Maya, we're missing Maya, but it's okay. So anyway, that was my birthday. Um, the Thursday didn't really do much um, because both Lauren and my dad went back home to kind of deal with Maya because Maya was my sister's dog and she wanted to see her before anything happened. So um, it was just me and my mom at home or at, on vacation still in Mammoth. So we were like, okay, we'll stay here because we still had the rest of like the week to finish out. So yeah. Um, Friday we went to Mammoth Brewing Company, um, got some beer, uh, started the office. I never finished the office. I tried crazy thunderstorms. Um, yeah, that was the other problem too, is that we had so many crazy thunderstorms. I literally couldn't do much because like thunderstorms, it was raining. There was no reason to be out. It was hailing. So yeah. Uh, the Saturday we played some more cards, um, went to Roberto's, there's more thunderstorms, and then Sunday we drove home. So, yeah, that was my birthday week. I actually really like, like I said, this spread. It's just gorgeous. Moving on, we have the Palm Springs. I don't think that's what it's called, but it's from Scribble Prince Co. Is this the last one? This is the last one. So this is the last one for this video. Um, but yeah, so we are back home now because we drove home on the Sunday. This is the first day back. Um, first day back at work after a week and a half. Had some pizza press with coworkers. Um, <laughs> the freeway was shut down. I remember that. That was an interesting time. Getting to work when the freeway shut down. It's never fun. Played The Sims apparently on this day. It all got to be too much. Oh, okay. So this was fight number one of that whatever it was relationship friendship whatever you want to call it this was fight number one and it was not fun it was probably the worst fight out of all of them it was a pretty brutal fight um and yeah so um it went from talking every single day every single like night like when we were gone for a week and a half I no joke texted him every single day talked to him like from morning to night like, we would literally, I would fall asleep on him or he would fall asleep on me. I would, one of us would wake up in the morning, text each other, and the conversation would continue. Um, this was the first day that we had that fight. And I didn't talk to him for four days. And it was torture. It was so strange. Because I was like, I haven't talked to him in four days. But I've talked to him for the past, like, month and a half. Almost two months. Every single day. Every, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, that type of thing. So, yeah, this was the start of... It going a little south. It was so good for so while, uh, so long, but yeah. Um, actually, things after this weren't too bad either. Like, I still, like, we were still completely okay, even though we had this conversation because we talked it out. Um, but yeah, it all got to be too much. Sometimes you just need your best friend. I literally needed Danielle for, like, to get through this weekend. I was up all night, um, had a terrible day. Yep, sounds about right. I was pretty much watching movies to try to distract myself. Um, we went to Pizza Press and we booked tickets for my first concert, which was exciting. The internet was down, so we literally had no internet also. So, yeah, the weekend of this wasn't that great, but we got through it. it I don't really know what else to say, um, but yeah. So, that is actually, I think, the last week that I'm going to show you. Wait, is it? May, June, July? Nope, we're going into August. I lied. August. <laughs> um, this is a forever long video and I apologize. I just like talked a lot in this. This is also a lot of my travel. So, um, yeah, this is a kit from Scope Prince Co. This is the August spread. Um, yeah, not much really to show you guys. There's only a little bit happening. Um, okay. First spread of August is the, um, 
ice cream bundle one. It's like the sorbet one from Scribble Prince Co. This was a whole bundle and then she had the sorbet um, washi that came with it also. Um, so the internet was still down on this day so I read um, some Harry Potter and I had to pick up dad from work. My phone is still going off. Oh my god. <laughs> um... This was the day that we had the long talk after work, um, where we essentially fixed things, fixed things, <laughs> um, that was just the first, like, we did fix things and we talked things through, this was just the first, like, that fight was the first divot into the badness that was to follow, so... We had a long talk after work, made a concert playlist so I can listen to all of the songs, um, for the concert, went to boba on a new hunt for a new swimsuit apparently almost ripped my nail off yeah that was the thing not fun um i was late for work apparently on this day oh my god i damaged my car on the freeway yes i remember this too so i was driving on the freeway and there's little like barriers on it that we have that like sections off part of the freeway and a car swerved into my lane so i swerved into where the little barrier thing was and i like ripped apart my wheel well which was not good um so David actually had to like that night he fixed it and he like adjusted it so I can get home like he like had to re rotate my whole entire wheel well um and like the plastic in it in order for me to be able to go home so yeah that was an interesting night uh Denise made the best food ever oh my god it was so good and then apparently it was not my day so yeah my dad then took my car to Meineke and he had to drop me off for work the next day um and I closed with Danielle so yeah there's that spread. Next we have the, oh my god, why can't I not remember any of these spreads? What is this called? I literally, a tropic like it's hot, something like that. I'm not entirely sure. This is from Glam Planner though and it's got all the foil in it. Um, so let's see. Have lunch with Danielle and David. I read Harry Potter. Their gold wild sale was a thing. Um, had a lazy day, watched Avengers, had a terrible day. Don't know why. Probably had something to do with me and him. Not entirely sure. Boycotting Halloween next year. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> we were working on Halloween trivia and oh my god, it took me forever. It took me, no joke, like an eight hour shift to do trivia for it. So yeah, there's that week. Moving on. Um, this one is a Palm Springs? No, I think I already did the Palm Springs one. I don't know. This is a kit from Scribble Prince Co. I also really like the washi that I used for this one. Um, so on the Monday, we went to the beach for my birthday because I was not home for my birthday. Obviously, I was on vacation for it. So my friends threw me like a birthday um, like day at the beach. So we went to the beach um, and then volleyball with friends and like we had a bonfire which was really fun. I got really, really sunburned though, so I was really sunburned on the next day. I also missed jury duty, which uh, was kind of on purpose. I <laughs> Kind of, not fully, um, but I missed jury duty and then I had to go to jury duty on this day, um, which I ended up getting excused because there was one trial that they had and then they ended up not wanting a jury for the trial, so they were like, you guys are all cleared. So I was like, yes, so we're good. Um, so there's that. Let's see. Um, oh, yes. Okay, so we went to San Diego on the 17th. And, um, I went to a road trip to San Diego. I, we got some colorful wall pictures and then this was the Marin Morris and Nile Horn concert, which was, uh, super fun. And then let's see, this was also my first concert I've ever been to, which was really fun. Um, I watched Beauty and the Beast apparently and I had a stressful day at work. Sounds about right. So there's that. Moving on, we have the no idea. Why can't I remember what these are called? I literally can't for the life of me remember what these kits are called. I'm so sorry, but they I promise they are all up on my channel. Okay, this one is the official last one. So this one is from Glam Planner and it does have hollow foil on it, which is gorgeous. I love the colors of this also. Like these colors are very me. Um so let's see, I did some research for Seattle. Seattle's still not a thing. It was supposed to be a thing, but it's not. Uh, Elizea's birthday was on the 21st. She's one of my friends from work. Um, had a hard day. Yep, yep, sounds about right. Started packing. What did I pack for? Oh, this was the week of um, my Disneyland stay. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot that. So, oh, I can't believe I forgot that. <laughs> Disney, okay, so Bianca, who I think I've talked about before, she is also one of my coworkers, but she's also, like, one of my closest friends. She won a, like, thing where we were able to stay in the Disneyland Hotel for two nights and three, three days, um, so she invited me and Danielle to go with her and then her, like, best friend also, and so that was this weekend, and I completely forgot about it, so I was packing for it, so... 
packed up everything, checked into the Disneyland hotel. We got some free mimosas, took a bunch of pictures, had a Disney day, no joke from, it wasn't from park open, park closed, but like it was until park closed and it was exciting. We went to Lamplight Lounge, which was the first time I had seen Lamplight Lounge and the pier. So that was really exciting. And then the next day we had breakfast at the e-ticket, which is like this like lounge that you have to pay for at the Disneyland hotel. Um, that like it was given to us with like us winning or her winning the thing it was like complimentary so we had the e-ticket went to the Fantasia gift shop had a pool day which was the most relaxing day ever um then we went to Trader Sam's where a little couple of us got a little drunk a couple of things happened and it wasn't anything bad no one slept with each other I'll, I'll say that um but I was just let's just say no one slept that night and if we did it was very little sleep so hence the reason why um like the open like eyed little munchkin here um sunday again didn't sleep we checked out of the hotel went to pete's press and i had a complete emotional breakdown because of what happened on this night i'm again not gonna get into it you guys don't really fully need to know about it um but let's just say this was divot number two of the relationship this was like ding number two where uh yeah 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 we're just we're just gonna leave it there so yeah it was a fun weekend all the way up until that little part right there and then just yeah no did not did not end well so anyway this is a forever long video because i have literally just ranted on and on and on and on and on um but there was a lot that happened actually you guys got the bulk of my travel in these months so yeah we're gonna get into the emotional stuff in the next one. That one will be coming uh, soon. I still have to finish planning out like Christmas spreads. Like here's a preview at the Christmas spreads. I have started them, but I never actually like planned them out yet. So I still need to do that. So that video might be a little bit later than this one, but we will see. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. I'm sorry if I was talking too fast or just rambling or telling you guys information that you guys didn't want to know. That's just kind of how it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite spread was or if you're going to go back and watch any of them. Let me know which one it is, and I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye, guys!